So here we are at Big Plant, Canna Russian Red, one of our favourite cannas. Gets uh, rather large each year, it's probably one of the biggest ones that we grow. Uh, I've just got a stem down here, just measured it, three metres tall. So a monster canna. It's this week they forecast the frost coming. So what I'm going to do is um, I could leave it until the first frosts have damaged the leaves, but I'd also like to do a video of a plant behind it. So what I'm going to do is winterize this one. So very simple, the easiest thing, you can see why I'm waving a knife around. I could use secateurs, but uh, I find a small kitchen knife easier for this. And what we're going to do is cut the stems down to 15 or 20 centimeters. It's not an exact science. Uh, and then we'll put a layer of mulch, and I'll show you what I mean by mulch, around the base of it to protect it for the winter. So here we are, my sharp knife, just cutting through like this and putting them down. As you can see, it's a bit of a shame. I'd normally wait for a frost, but because the leaf looks great and a light frost won't do the plant any damage. You'll know when it's ready to cut them down because the leaves will collapse, look miserable like that. But right now, if we weren't getting a frost or quite a few frosts, it looks like this week, I'd probably leave it. You may even not have to do this until December, or in some places, not at all. This particular plant originated from a, a garden on the Isle of Wight. And on the Isle of Wight, it was just growing um, almost with gay abandon, just going down a valley, um, never winter protected. So it's, it, it's um, something you've got to use a bit of common sense about and figure about where you are in the country and what your microclimate's like. So there isn't a specific time what I would say is never do it just because you want to tidy the garden. Wait until the temperatures are close to freezing or frosts. Because if you do it when the plant is still growing and try and winterize it, it will try to regrow. And that regrow will be soft and particularly if you wrap it, um, liable to going, uh, becoming rotten. And, uh, it's not a good situation. So wait, let nature do its thing. So here we have it, the canna is cut back, probably a slightly generous, 15, 20, 25 centimetre stem. Not an exact science, like a lot of things in horticulture. All the stems are quite chunky at the moment. During the course of the winter, uh, they'll probably rot back, right back to the rhizome and then fall off. But it's a good um, thing to leave them. I like to leave them because it reminds you as to where the plant is. If the plant's really small, put a cane in so you don't inadvertently dig it up. Many people lift canners, but I find some of the hardier ones, like the Russian Red for instance, do much better if you leave them in the ground. This has been in the ground for a couple of years now in one of our beds we made. And this year, the size, as you can see, was significant. And it went in as just a 10 litre plant, probably a plant in a pot like that. So in the space of two years, it's formed a huge clump like this. So ideally the mulch, it's going to be like a little jacket that will protect the rhizomes under the ground where the shoots are formed uh, from freezing. Mulches can be all sorts of things, but I like to use an organic uh, compost. This one, for instance, is um, horse manure that's been composted. It has um, several benefits. Not only does it insulate the rhizomes, it also prevents the um, frost from penetrating part of the insulation but it breaks down during the course of the following season releasing nutrients and acting like a fertilizer that in turn improves the structure of the soil particularly if you've got clay soils it will improve it and you'll find that the clay will suddenly become much more of a uh, fine loamy soil so it, it's it's very useful process you could do it on all plants to be honest Being generous, a minimum of uh, about 25 to 30 um, millimeters, two or three centimeters is great. But if you can, uh, more. I I would go 
up to uh, 15 centimeters of mulch. That will give you great insulation and it will also um, really improve the soils during the coming seasons. So there you have it, really quite simple. Didn't take me very long. That's all I'm going to do. If I lived in a really cold area, I could add further protection by putting a layer of straw over the top. But that would certainly be it for this plant. So there you have it, winterizing a canna Russian red. Thank you.